Hey, all you Bully fans out there. This is Jerry Rosenthal, a.k.a. Jimmy Hopkins. Finally doing this Q&A. Sorry it took so long. Thank you for your patience. And thank you to Swegta for getting the ball rolling on this. Just a few things I wanted to mention. Some places you can find me online if you're interested. My website is jerryrosenthal.com. My uh, Facebook is Jerry Rosenthal Music. And my band is Big Wake, and you can find us at bigwakemusic.com. I'm also on YouTube. Jerry Rosenthal is my handle, and Big Wake is Big Wake Music. So if you're interested, go like and subscribe to those. I'm going to try to put out some more bully-related material in the coming months, uh, find different ways to interact with, with you, the fans. And yeah, so go and like and subscribe and I'll let you know about those. So there's a few questions that were asked repeatedly. I wanted to just kind of get those out of the way. There were a few general questions that, that were asked a lot. So uh, here we go. First question I think that was asked the most was will there be a bully too and would I like to be involved? And the answer is I have no idea. I hope that they would make another bully too, or rather another bully, but I'm thinking it's been like 10 years, so I don't know if it makes sense for them to do another game. I would think they would have done it a lot sooner than this. And of course, yes, I would love to be involved. My voice has probably changed a little bit in 10 years, but if they called me and asked me to play Jimmy Hopkins again, I would love to. So that's my answer to that. I wish I wish I knew, but I don't. The second most question asked, I would say, was what was it like to play Jimmy and to be in Bully? And really, it was basically it was just a lot of fun. You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a tough job. It was a lot of fun to go in and uh, play this character. Shut up! Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Wow! <laughs> come here, you. Yeah, come with that. That's really all I can say. I mean, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't tough, you know. It was. It was a fun, easy character to play, and you know, it was well written. So uh, yeah, it was great. Great time. Who's my favorite character? People asked a lot, and I think I gotta say Jimmy. I mean, right? I have to say Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> How's the campaign, Ernest? You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. What was your favorite line? A lot of people wanted to know, and I like that line where he says, I'm not really, I'm not really, I'm more into music. I'm not into art, I'm more into music, which I think is fitting since I more or less mostly a musician these days. So there you go. Those are the most commonly asked questions. Uh, here's the thing. Art is lost on me. I've always been more into music. All right, Ethan Elwood, was it fun working with the cast of Bully? Well, you don't actually work as a cast. I was by myself for the entire, uh, the entire project. Myself, the director, the engineer, and a producer. Usually just like three or four of us in the room at once in the studio. There were some, some friends of mine who were... Uh, in, the sh in the game, and I didn't even realize until after I'd already done it. So, unfortunately, I didn't really meet anybody else. Viper Racing asks, what was it like to play Jimmy Hopkins? I think I addressed that one. He also asks, have you ever had someone come up to you in public and they've said, can you do a catchphrase by Jimmy or something like that? And actually, no. Not any Nobody's ever recognized me on the street and asked me to do a line from the game. Maybe that'll change after this q and I don't know. Corporal Cole asks, do you want a beat town? That's a line from the game. And no, Corporal Cole, I don't. Sorry, buddy. <clears throat> Scottish Gamer asks, was there any funny moments in the game you enjoyed but were taken out? What were they if so? As far as I know, everything made the game. There were about 90 cutscenes, I think. And I'm pretty sure they all... They all made it. So, that's my answer to that one. Primordial, Primordial Being asks, have you ever played Bully at all? It would be cool to see your reaction, but also you're the voice of the protagonist of one of my favorite games ever, 
If not, have you en done any other game voices? Primordial Being, thank you for your kind words. I'm glad you like the game and the character. The answer is, I played it a couple times. I'm not very good at video games, but I did play it a few times when it came out. Um, but I do want to say, one of the things that we wanted to try, hopefully soon, live stream me playing the game, and hopefully a lot of you will log on and follow it and maybe give me some tips as to how to get through, how to get through the game. I thought that might be cool, a cool way to interact with all you fans out there. So stay tuned for that, because that's definitely on the horizon. I'll, uh, I'll hang out, play the game. You guys make comments, ask questions, and, and help me get through it. And we'll stream it live. Uh, and then you asked if I have done any other game voices. I have not. That's the only one. Damn it, kid! Keep it down! Nice to know there's a violent, crazy old man on campus. Blind Roach asks, Jerry, are you a gamer? If so, what are your favorite games? So I just said, you know, I don't really play a lot of video games. Uh, I did play Nintendo <clears throat> when I was a kid. I could beat Super Mario Brothers. That's about it. I had a Game Boy, played Super Mario. <laughs> um, I think my favorite game is Super Mario, <laughs> by default. Yonolo Yes Coco <clears throat> asks, why from all games you picked Bully? I think she's asking, or he's asking, yeah, why I'm, why I picked Bully to, to be in. I didn't pick it, they picked me. I auditioned, they liked it, and they said, come on, come on and do it. So, they picked me, I didn't pick them. <laughs> Liquor Full asks, <clears throat> you remember of the first versions of Bully? You come to see this project of the game in your first stages, or just worked in voice acting? Uh, I don't remember any of the early versions. I basically, I just did the voice acting. I did a couple scenes with the motion capture suit after the fact, when they added it, added new scenes for the, uh, the Nintendo Wii version. But I mostly just did the voice acting. Barry MK 400 favorite thing you said in the game? I think I addressed that. The line about not really being into art, being more into music. So that's what I do now. Jimmy Hopkins asks, how was the audition process to get the part of Jimmy? Did you expect the game to be as big as it was? Great question, Jimmy. Uh, I went in, I read kind of a monologue. I think it might have been from the opening credits, actually. The part about here I am at the worst school, serial killers and corporate lawyers and all that. Pretty sure it was that monologue. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. I went in, I read it, I want to say twice? I don't even think I got a call back. I think they just, they heard it, they, they thought it was good for the character, and they called me and offered me the job. It was really a pretty quick, painless audition, I have to say. I was in and out of there in probably 10 minutes. And, um, and no, I didn't expect it to be as big as it was. I mean, it wasn't quite as big as some other Rockstar games, right? Like Grand Theft Auto. But yeah, it was definitely it was definitely cool that it, that it became such a hit and it's kind of a cult classic, I guess, now. Um, and people are still playing it. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. Damon Hall asks, also what color does a smurf turn if you strangle it? Uh, <laughs> uh, purple? Ah, uh, yeah, purple. Endless Nightmare asks, what other projects have you worked on other than Bully? Well, no other games, like I said, but I've done other acting jobs, some movies, TV, a lot of commercials when I was younger. Um, I did some voices for Celebrity Deathmatch on MTV. That was fun. I think I did the Backstreet Boys and Ricky Schroeder. I might have done Macaulay Culkin. That was a long time ago. So yeah, a bunch of other stuff. Now I mostly do music. 
Fuck a Rubber Duck asks, what are you doing as of late music-wise? Gigs, EPs, etc. Also, how many, how strenuous was it to record so many miscellaneous lines in Bully, considering most of them wouldn't be as accessible as others, and some even scrapped entirely? Cheers. Cheers to you, Fuck a Rubber Duck. Great questions. Um, what am I doing as of late music-wise? Well, if you go to jerryrosenthal.com, all my gigs are listed, even some of the ones that you can't go to, like weddings and private parties. Um, I released my album with my band Big Wake, which you can stream from the website, my website, and also bigwakemusic.com. You can stream it from there. I'm currently recording a full-length album with my acoustic trio. There's some videos up at Jerry Rosenthal Music on Facebook. It's myself on acoustic, violin player, upright bass player. So I'm in the process of recording an album for that. That's more of kind of a solo thing and Big Wake is my original uh, electric big rock band. Um, what else did you say here? How strenuous was it to record so many miscellaneous lines? You know, the one of the main directions I got from the director was, it has to be bigger, right? So I think it was the scene where I finally beat Russell or maybe it was Maybe it was Gary, where he's yelling, I, you know, I'm king of the world, I'm the man, I'm the man now, you know, that sort of thing. He gave me a great direction. He said, look, you have to be, you have to be the voice of that kid who just tried 30 times to be Russell, and he finally did. And now it's, you know, it's got to be so over the top. So you're really kind of voicing the way this kid is feeling right now, which is, makes perfect sense. Who's the baddest? Me! Who's the toughest? Me! Who's the man? Me! Me, losers! Me! The champion number one! I killed the best! I will beat the rest! So, one of my main directions given to me was make everything bigger. And that was great, that was great advice. You know, I'd never done a video game before and that was perfect. So yeah, sometimes I'd, I'd just be shouting for, hour, for hours. And what else did you say? Some of them would be scrapped entirely. That I don't know. I don't think anything was really scrapped though. Cheers. Noah asks, if you was a kid, would you like to be in the Bullworth Academy? Yes, no, with a reason. All right. So no, I don't think I'd like to go to Bullworth because uh, you know, everybody gets beat up all the time. Death. Drager AQW asks, since you are a musician, would you do Bully the Musical? Hell yeah, I would do Bully the Musical. Write it, record it, sing it, playing it, whatever. It'd be awesome. Please don't mess this up, Jimmy. Oh, yes. Christmas depends on you. Oh, yes. Thank you, it's all to them. Yes. Man U Rios asks, can you still do his voice? I think so, yeah, because I didn't change anything really about my voice. I was 25 years old at the time, I had kind of a higher pitched voice, and they said it sounded like a tough 15 year old, <laughs> my my voice. So I didn't really affect, put any effects on my voice or anything because, you know, you know, maybe a little harder like this, I had to talk a lot like this, but I really didn't change my voice much. So yes, I think I can still do it. Emmanuel Peralta. Do you spank yours, bitch, or hit them? I don't condone violence against women, uh, so I do neither, and I suggest that you do neither as well. Khaled Gamer asks, is any of the cast a bully your friend? And yeah, that's a good question. I um, A couple of, the, couple of the characters were played by some friends of mine. My buddy Evan Weinstein is a good friend of mine. I've known him for years. He played, um, I wrote it down here, he played Troy. So I think one of the minor characters, uh, let's see, Ben Curtis played um, Damon. He uh, he was in a lot of commercials for Dell, the Dell computer. He was a Dell computer kid. Um, buddy Brett Tavisil played Algae, actually. He runs a great, he runs a great club in uh, New York City in the West Village called Le Poisson Rouge. So yeah, I knew, I knew some of these guys. But like I said, I don't think I realized any of them were acting in the game until well after the fact. Okay, James Vice, 2009. Would you consider voice acting? Would you consider voice acting for more of Swagta's videos? Sure. He's uh, he's the guy who got all this started. So thanks again, Swagta. 
Stone Show Games. Did you ever feel weird doing the voices before you kissed a girl? No, not really. It's all acting, man. Say the line, kiss the girl. It's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry and I'll never get into med school. Now I won't find the cure for cancer. Basically, the future of the whole world rests on those notes. What's in it for me? Well, if you get them back, I'll... I'll kiss you. Ugh. Uh, that's okay. <sighs> Dennis the Menace. Jerry, how old were you when you voiced 15-year-old Jimmy? So I was 25. And if there was one character from the bully game you would want to beat up, who would it be? Gary is excluded. P.S. I would beat up Algy because he asked for it all the time. That's exactly what I was going to say. Algy. Sorry, Brett. <laughs> Pussy Destroyer asks, Do you actually like the game you voice acted in, Jerry? I, I definitely do. I played it a few times, like I said. And um, it was a lot of fun doing. So I know all the cutscenes. You know, I remember a lot of that. Yeah, it was. it's a cool game. And it brought me, you know, closer to interacting with, with fans like you all. So, thanks for the question, Pussy Destroyer. Johnny Games. Will you be reprising the role of Jimmy for Bully 2? Okay, so I addressed this in the beginning. I don't know if they're going to make one. And if they did, I don't know if they'd call me to do it. But I would absolutely, uh, I would absolutely say yes. What's it like to be the voice actor of the main character of the best game ever made? Well, I don't, you know... Thanks for the kind words. Um, it's it's an honor, really. Cat Stroke asks, "How is your singing career going?" By the way, you're awesome. Thank you very much, Cat Stroke. Appreciate it. Check me out at JerryRosenthal.com. Jerry Rosenthal Music on Facebook. BigWakeMusic.com. Lots of uh, lots of places to check me out. Thank you very much. Stay in touch. Simon Bestia, how many times did you laugh slash get distracted while you were saying lines? Fairly often, you know. It's a pretty funny, pretty funny game. Hey, kid, it's me. Remember me? Oh, great, it's the crazy lunatic. What was that? Oh, nothing, mister. Hey, I'm, you know, Santa Claus, oh. right? Oh, yeah, right, Santa Claus. How could I forget? We met a few times when you crept into my bedroom when I was asleep as a kid, then only more recently when you were drunk under a bridge. You're right, man. How could I forget a fine role model like you? Ho, ho! Yeah. Fairly often. But, you know, you just cut. Say it again. Flying Giraffe asks, Apart from Jimmy, who is your favorite character from Bully? And actually, I, I liked Algy. I mean, I would also beat him up if I had to. But I liked him. The American Gangster from the Mean Streets of West Lynn, Oregon asks, are you surprised that people still ask questions about a game that's nearly 10 years old? Yeah, kind of. Can you please, oh, can you please ask him to pronounce my name? I would love to hear Jimmy saying it. Well, I just did. The American Gangster from the Mean Streets of West Lynn, Oregon. Is that your name? Saw88, how, how many pussy do you get? Uh, well, I don't own any cats, if that's what you're referring to. Jam Games. Jerry, were you ever bullied? And if so, did this give you some sort of inspiration for Jimmy Hopkins? Also, my name is also Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. That's a great question. I indeed was bullied uh, around elementary school, early middle school. It's not fun. And it was cool to play a character who really just sticks up for, for the bullied kids, the weaker kids, like he says in the game. But I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. Wonky Street Pond 81. Are you like the Italian stallion Rocky Balboa? That means you cannot be defeated. If you're referring to the character of Jimmy Hopkins, I think yeah. If you're referring to me, I'm not so much Italian as I am English, German, Swedish, Scottish. And I can probably be defeated, yeah. Justin Barr asks, how did you feel when a rock star asked you to voice Jimmy? It felt great. I knew it was gonna be a great job, paid well, would lead to some other stuff hopefully, and yes, it was very, uh, it was very humbling, and it felt very good to know that uh, they wanted me for this awesome game. Venomous Piano asks, how long did it take you to record the audio for Jimmy Hopkins? Good question, we did, we did four hour sessions. And some days we did two sessions, but mostly 
every every time I went in, it was just for four hours, which is a long time. Your voice gets pretty tired. And I want to say I did something like maybe 15 sessions. So 15 times four, about 60 hours, something like that. Took a while. Pexis. Have you ever auditioned for voice acting roles before and after Bully? Yes, I've done, like I said, some Celebrity Deathmatch a long time ago, and other voiceover, radio commercials, stuff like that. Jalen13 Rocks asked what inspired you to play guitar. Great question. I was about seven. My dad is a musician, and he taught me how to play guitar and piano uh, roughly the same time. <coughs> and then, uh, you know, there was always guitars lying around my house. I was always picking them up and playing them. I love, my first love was the Beatles when I was when I was that age and for a long time and still is really. Oh, and maybe I should mention, I have a Beatles cover band, Hey Bulldog, we're called. And you can check us out at heybulldogband.com. So yeah, the Beatles, I love the Beatles. In high school, I listened to more grunge, early 90s, Pearl Jam, Nirvana. I'm really into stuff like some more improv -y jam stuff like the Allman Brothers, Fish, a lot of jazz, fusion music. So a lot of everything, really. Great question, thank you. Store brand cola. If Russell was real, would you really fight him? No way. Guy would flatten me. MM Clips asks, how was Rockstar treating you while voice acting for Bully? They treated me wonderfully. They were great. Really, really great. Gavin the Amazing. What were your thoughts on Jack Thompson trying to pull some of Rockstar's game from stores? and saying, good luck getting your T rating to Rockstar when they were releasing Bully. I, I remember this happening, and I remember thinking, he probably doesn't know much about the game, because if he did, he would realize that the, Jimmy Hopkins is really the protector, protecting people from getting bullied, and really was just kind of standing up for all the all the weaker kids. Like he, like he says in the game, that's one of the lines, something like, you know, I stand up for the weaker kids. You're a degenerate! The think I trusted you! It wasn't me. Yeah, I'm no saint, but I tried to bring order to the school to stop the bullying. Ha! Bullying? I don't care about bullying! In fact, I encourage bullying! That's right! Builds moral fiber! Makes men! Yeah! So, I think that's why eventually when the game was released and people actually had a sense of really the, the, the character, he's really a good guy, you know? So, you know, he's tough, he's rough around the edges, but he's a good dude. And uh, that was my thought. I was thinking, I don't think this guy really, you know, gets the character of this game. So Ben Dickey asks, while recording your lines, were there any lines or cutscenes that were hard to act out? And I'll refer to an earlier answer. Just all the shouting at the, you know, every time he you beat a certain level, you beat up some people, he's always, you know, I'm the best, oh, nobody can beat me, oh, all that. And that was a lot of shouting for hours. <laughs> so, there's your answer. Camellia Star, why are you so awesome? I don't know, but thanks Camellia, appreciate it. Pink Slime asks, was Bully based off a real story? I can't say that it was, I think it was, although I'm sure there's some boarding schools that are, you know, pretty bad. But I, I don't know, you'd have to ask, the writer, I, I assume. The Debonator asks, what process took place when you were acting out Jimmy Hopkins? For example, maybe other than doing voice work, awesome job by the way, thank you Debonator, did you have to wear one of those motion capture suits that are used for in-game character movements? Great question. So I got hired after the fact, they'd already hired a guy, they actually, I wasn't the first one hired, they hired a guy to do the motion capture, and then I don't know what happened, they didn't think his voice was right for the game, I guess? But they hired me after he'd already done all the motion capture, which was a bummer because I was, that was one of the first things I asked. I was really looking forward to, to doing that. And I wasn't able to, but then they re-released the game for Nintendo Wii and they added three scenes. So I got to, I got to do it. I drove out to a studio in Long Island, a huge warehouse studio, cameras lined, you know, at 360 and the full suit with the balls. And if you take a picture with a flash, they all light up. There's a picture of me somewhere online. It used to be on MySpace, which I don't think my profile exists anymore. But I, I did have a picture of me wearing it. I'll try to find that. 
So yeah, luckily I did get to do three scenes with the with the motion capture suit, which was a ton of fun. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? And you'd say, take me to the hay bar. Hey, Ernest. <laughs> What's that oh, you're reading? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Fat Phil Bayett asks, is there anything you did to prepare yourself for voice acting, for voicing this great, interesting character? You know, I just read the script, followed the direction, followed the advice that the director gave me. It's pretty much it. You know, I just kind of tried to get it stay in character and that's about it. Nothing, nothing in particular. Just read the script. Sean16 and came in for gaming asked, do you find it ironic that in Bully, in the intro of Here's to You, Ms. Phillips Mission, Jimmy says he was more into music. Yeah, I said that earlier. Yeah, and that's what I do. So yeah, I thought that was cool. I wasn't quite doing music as much back then. Um, I was a lot younger. But yeah, I eventually became basically a full-time musician, so that was pretty cool. Midnight Burger asks, can you say, damn apple fritter tastes like donkey balls? Well, I just did. Damn apple fritter tastes like donkey balls. That's better. Alex Hatton Brown asks, do you feel relatable to the character of Jimmy Hopkins and did he come off as a good guy to you? I think he did come off as a good guy. I'm not quite as tough. I don't get in fights. I don't think I've ever been in a fight in my life, really. So I didn't, you know, I'm not really looking to start stuff, but I think he did. Yeah, I think he came off as a good guy. For sure. Jesus Christ asks, what do you and Jimmy have most in common? I like to think I stick up for people who need sticking up for. Yeah. Bonnie the Bunny asks, how was high school for you? Good question. I actually had a blast in high school. I did a lot of the plays. I was playing, playing in a high school band. Had a lot of good friends. It was, I had a lot of good memories. Sorry for the, the vanilla boring answer, but <laughs> I had a good time in high school. Owen Norris, who was your favorite person working with when creating Bully? Uh, the producer's name was Frances uh, Francesca. She was great. Um, the director, Matt, I, I, everybody, everybody was great. I can't, I only really worked with like two, three people and they were all great people to work with. Nuck three, I want to f fuck an old lady, help me please. No, I think, I think you're on your own there, Nuck three. Lord Ludacris, what video games did you play as a kid? Well, Super Mario, essentially. What's your band called and what sort of music do you play? So my main band is Big Wake, bigwakemusic.com. We play rock, indie, we jam a lot. I would say we're kind of a cross between maybe a Ben Folds and the Allman Brothers. Uh, yeah, check us out. Rayad Muscleson <laughs> asks, when are you going to do this Q&A? That's a really good question. Again, I'm sorry it took so long, but I'm doing it now. Only a couple more questions. Uh, Jake Howard asks, does Jerry have an answer to the mystery of what time period Bully is based in? I just always assumed it was based in present day, so 2006. Although the, the school kind of has a retro feel to it. Maybe it could be like, it could maybe be in like the 70s or 80s, maybe. Maybe the 80s. I assumed it was present day, but now that I'm thinking about it, it definitely could have been more the 80s. Mangombage. Mangombage. Ask Jerry, what's your favorite line of saying, bully? I said that. Earlier, you know, I'm not into art, I'm, I'm more into music. Last one, Angel Gonzalez Ruiz. Jer Bear, what did you feel like when your girl found out you're being in a rock star game? I didn't, I don't think I had a girlfriend at the time. It was, I think, prior to getting together with my girlfriend who later became my wife. So, unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't have anybody to share the, the good news with. No one romantically involved. But my roommates, my all dude roommates were happy for me. So I think that's it. That about wraps it up. And thank you for your questions. Again, thank you to Swepta for putting this all together. And like I said, I'm going to try to stay more involved and a little more interactive with you guys. So like and subscribe to the YouTube channels and the Facebook. And I'll be updating you guys about the next bully related bully related topic which i believe is going to be us me playing the game uh live streaming it and taking some of your advice on how to beat it all right 
Cheers. Thanks.